Welcome back guys here with another get ready with me and I'm starting off with a hair portion as you guys know this wig is from rpghair.com and I washed it so that's why it's wet this is the pre pluck 360 frontal wig body wave Brazilian virgin hair and it's LFW 39 that's the code it is 22 inches long now I kind of did a little technique with laying it super flat at the top as you can see I'm showing you here because it's wet I parted it in the neatest way I possibly could um, and I made sure to just lay it flat. It wasn't a thing technical. I didn't add any products. It was just water. And I let that air dry, air dry overnight. Transitioned into this clip where I'm basically just wanding up the hair. I wanted pin curls because as you guys saw from the title, I'm doing my first magazine cover shoot the down in the get ready with me i'm going to do the chit chat i know you guys are wondering if it's a voice no it's just this portion that's a voice over where i'm doing my makeup it's me just talking to you guys so just just stick stick around for that portion um so basically i was just you know after i wound up the hair i get my little bobby pins and i secure the curls in place i absolutely love doing pink curls the only thing I can't, why I don't do it more often is because it takes up so much time. You know, it's it's for me at least. I love the curls. I love when I do pin curls. Like, I just, I don't know. It's just very luscious and gorgeous. I love it. So that's what I did right throughout the wig. And um, I just wanted that really nice, flowy, Hollywood glam type of look. Now, uh, this, I don't know. I've had this wig for... I, I mentioned it further down that I've had this week for since probably mid summer of last year like closer to September time or so and it's still here standing strong looking amazing RPG here is doing it all right and their lace is really really good so as you can see you can see where the la the lace portion looks white here but trust me once I took my time and laid it further with the got to be freezing spray and everything it totally melted in you could not see any of that you see how it looks harsh that's because over time you know using got to be spray and gel or whatever it kind of have that look when it's dry but it's like once I go back in and reapply like wet the area it doesn't look that way once I lay it onto my skin so as you can see I use a blow dryer and I take the tiniest like the smallest amount of hair there at the edge portion and this helps to conceal the lace giving it an invis it's like almost invisible you it's hard to de detect the lace so this is a technique i feel like i'm going to do more not it's not like oh baby here like a lot of baby here and it's saturated because i don't do that look much anymore yeah that's pretty much it so now we're gonna jump into the makeup portion so i'm just going into my eyebrows because yeah let me just speed through this portion real quick. Well, from the title, it's pretty, it's about to be a pretty exciting shoot today. This is actually my first magazine. It's a local magazine. It's Sleek Magazine. That's the name of it. Um, I'll also vlog about it. You need to check out my description box for that vlog um, on my vlog channel so I'm just gonna go along and talk um, I'm starting off with my eyes first so yeah I'm basing it right now with concealer just getting it prepared for the eyeshadow I'm going to be on the cover there will also be an article in the magazine you know and pics of me along with other stuff this is a carnival edition so you know i'm gonna go with um a cut crease look i don't i'm not sure if time will allow me to do like a lot of colors and stuff like that but definitely cut crease vibes so on the other day i've just been doing a lot of shoes like i uh, don't know what i want to do for the transition i love the way my brows came out i'm going to go in with the stilazi barbados 
um, blush palette. This is a blush palette and I feel like I want to start off with orange and probably do a little bit of a pink. The carnival shoot I did the other day at Porsche Jamaica. If you guys did not check that, um, catch that vlog, I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. Um, I did a makeup look and I did not get to film it. I did a colorful dramatic makeup look and everyone was like literally like you can check my instagram and they're like you need to recreate this you how you mean you don't film no video for this like i'm telling you guys time did not allow me and whenever i do i look once it's just weird for me to do the same thing all over again honestly um it's just like it not giving a spark for do back the same thing but you know you guys even know people are still commenting on that post saying i need to recreate recreate it so I'm going to do that for you guys soon. So no worry. Um, so I, I, as you can see, I'm trying my best to film this one today because I just wing. Most of my looks are just wing, you know. I just wing them. So I'm literally just winging this. I don't really plan anything. feel like I want the lid to be like nude, but I'm adding this color, the colors in the crease. Even I got up so early today early way earlier than usual so that i could make it to the gym and i did i want to focus some of the pink Ooh. i want to focus some of this pink which is the, the first shade is mango tango and I'm, I'm going to use some sizzle a little bit up in the crease here to shoot that i'm doing um they actually were inspired by my fitness journey and so the article in the um, magazine will be about not my journey in fitness and just having i don't know what would you say hold on i'm looking for a specific brush they just wanted to know like what inspired me to go so hard and stuff and seeing the fact that i represented my country in you know being a bit bikini athlete and stuff like that Yeah, so shout out to Sleek Magazine, you know, um, and that's the thing, like, you see anything you do, like, at the beginning of this, like, no one cared really, no one showed, the only people that's ever been, I'm going back in with some of the orange, the only people that has ever really been on my side was the closest people to me, everybody else would be like, why are you even working out, why you need to work out, why are you doing this, why are you doing that, and it's like, they're like, you need to stop doing this. You're going to get too much of this. And you see, that's the thing. If you sit down and you listen to these people and you make them dictate your life and what you should do next, or it, it's going to mash you. It's going to destroy you, guys. Don't listen to them. If you believe in something and you really want it, just do what you have to do, okay? Just do what makes you feel satisfied, what makes you feel fulfilled is don't be complacent don't get comfortable push yourself to the limit how when you feel like say about for boss when you feel like you can't go no further continue fight it push it even if you're going to have to cry through it do what you have to do because at the end of the road it will be worth it and i'm just saying that this isn't this isn't necessarily like i'm not saying all of that because oh i'm doing i'm shoot today but you know i believe that greater things are ahead i know why i do what i do and what i do makes me feel stronger and more fulfilled you know this whole fitness lifestyle is just a, a tiny bit of what i do it takes a lot out of you it's like a part of me now so i'm going to go in on the lid portion with just a nude color people a lot of people want some multicolor looks when you come on to carnival you know so i say since i'm using less colors and stuff i say it's a simple carnival look not a simple general makeup look the other day i said it and somebody was like what you sure simple no i said it was simple carnival look so yeah but yeah so guys just follow through with what you believe in i i don't know i feel like i'm always repeating this but you know what you need to, i feel like there are people out there who constantly needs to be reminded even me sometimes need to remind myself that listen 
don't get comfortable you might achieve something today and bam to bam tomorrow something comes up to try to tear you down like listen don't believe that anything in this life is permanent we are not even permanent on this earth so you have to do the best in whatever you do with the time that you live you know while you have life be strong and strive to find happiness and while doing so put your best foot forward yeah i spend a lot of my days listening to motivational speakers it gets me through some of my very dark and dull moments i'm loving my wig oh my gosh guys i know i'm not wanting to feel like saying you know, or just because i'm the ambassador for rpg here wigs that you know me i be biased or anything listen number one thing is i would not be putting so much energy in promoting something whether or not i'm getting paid whether or not i would not be putting so much effort in something that i genuinely don't believe in like people message me all the time and say um you really feel like that like don't even bother don't even bother. like if you see it here believe me when i say i believe in it and for something that i've been rocking with for years now years is not just a couple months ago they are lit okay i want to do a little bit of black from the same 25a palette just here to deepen it up a bit as i said i'll link the vlog talking more about the magazine stay tuned in to my vlog channel petite Sue tv guys i've been working so hard over there i've been uploading every single day any day i, I miss is because it gets really hectic or probably nothing didn't happen on that day for me to bring forth any content guys i'm saying quick and boy i'm do the things they might take up all of the time You know what? I actually think I'm not going to apply any falsies today just because I'm pressed for time and I don't mind showing off just my fusion lashes today, which are done by Lashed by LC. So I'm going to jump into doing my face makeup now. <sighs> I'm so excited to let down these curls. I'm really, this is like the millionth time I'm putting on this week, by the way. The millionth. I've had this week from like mid last year. I believe mid last year or September ish. The other day I put up a, a collage with like 15 pictures. Only 15 pictures with 15 different wigs that I've worn. I'm from RPG here in the past, and you guys could not choose which one was your favorite. Like most people had multiple picks, and a lot was like all, but my some of favorite is this. <laughs> oh lord, it was just so funny. You like right now, I'm really pressed for time. I feel like I'm really going to speed through the face portion. Like, nothing much has changed, changed from what I do with my face makeup routine. So, I don't usually like to dwell on it that much nowadays. So, I hope you guys, you know, understand. I'm just going to accentuate the lower portion my waterline monster ardency in liner so initially I was going to do the lower portion with blue but I can't find my blue liner right now but what I'm going to do is still put blue over it so I'm going into my um, take me to Brazil palette I'm gonna go in with this blue that's almost finished beautiful combination in my head it was empty but i know that i want to be where you are 
so i feel like for my lips i want to go in with another gaia lippy yes this one is in the shade doris and this is a neutral color So this look is a vibe. Mm. Oh gosh, what lace, guys? Tell me, please. I'm waiting on you to tell me. It's so gorgeous. So gorgeous. And I feel like this technique I used to really lay the top of the hair is really nice. I love this. Look at the parting. I should do a bob like looking like this, like curly vibes, like pinup girl vibes. This is really nice. Oh, I forgot to pat in my lippy. <laughs> and use Guile Babe when you order from Guile Cosmetics to get dollars off. So, you guys, that's it for today's Get Ready With Me 